City of New Orleans, 911. What is the emergency? They got a lot of problems back there. It's smoking bad. It's got black smoke and it's on fire. Are you inside the building? <laughs> Sir, hello, are you there? <laughs> hello? <laughs> yes, sir. Ready to send this over to dispatch. How many floors of stories are there? The second floor. Yeah, it's burning back. There's the glass popping and everything. Do not try to put the fire out. Do not carry anything that is on fire. And do not use the elevator. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Apartment. It's an apartment fire. 6220, put me in right to that uh, fire, please. Please, let's get another unit rolling out that way. Another 13 advised people still inside the building. As a former firefighter, I immediately think of the time of day. Families are probably at home, and I really hope that everybody smelled smoke, they were able to get out this fire. Right off the interstate, do it. We see it. Oh. Oh. All right, people, y'all ready? Damn. Damn. I hope nobody ain't in there. Are y'all on that scene yet? Yeah, we're here, and it is, it's rolling. All right, keep me advised, see if we need to activate an MCI. If you hang out here on Talk One, I'll update you here in about two minutes. Okay, thanks. Our EMS med surge bus is used for MCIs, or mass casualty incidents. Critical patients still, of course, go by ambulance as quickly as they can from the scene, but any stable patient or walking wounded can be transported in bulk on this bus. Y'all know if they have any patients? They got a lot of old people coming out of there. And half of them are being drug out by other people. Right here. Right here. Hey, sweetie, what's going on? Okay. Hey, look, look, let me put this on your finger, love. All right, feeling? Keely, we're with one patient now. Look, let me listen to your lungs, sweetheart. Good job. Breathe. Nice deep breath. Yeah, you may want to uh, send another unit and maybe a sprint this way. They don't know if everybody's out of the building. Nice deep breath. All right, good. All right, you sound good, all right? Do you want to go to the hospital? You know? Smoke inhalation is a big concern, because when they inhale that smoke, that's a lot of bad stuff going into the lungs, and that could cause all type of problems. If your underlying health condition is asthma, that just made it worse by 10. If you get a little tight, let us know, all right? How many people? Got a ton of people in the back. Yeah. How many you have here? Just us. Oh, I got oh, another one. I told them we need another one this way. And we got a sprint more. unit coming this way. I'm pulling up on scene now. I'm hoping that most of the people are out. When I get on scene, this fire is huge. It is roaring. This could be really bad. The whole complex is up in smoke. I need to find out how many patients we have, how many fatalities we have, if any, if we know if anybody is still trapped in the building. I need to start getting together what resources we need to bring in. We got about 50 people standing here, one possible patient. I don't know what's on the other end. I can't get to them. I'd like to get the RTA buses just to put people in yeah, to sit, that and that way they're not in the cold. Like, I'm hoping that most of the people are out. We need to get these people some type of a warm environment for them to sit in. RTAs, they have all the public buses that run regular bus routes. So in the middle of the night, there's not a lot of buses. However, these people are out in the cold. We need some way to put these people before they start having medical issues and become patients. I got the bus coming. Where's my man? Okay. They tried. So I just talked to Fire Command. They think that everyone is out. Hey, so look, we, we got an RTA bus coming out here. That way y'all have somewhere warm to sit, OK? We notify the Red Cross and see if we can get them out here, please. See if they have extra blankets that they can bring. Yeah, I see all the kids. So you got everybody? 
How's so, my family are you? All right, good, man. I was in the apartment right across from you. Well, I'm glad you got out, all right? Help me out, that your, me. Is that your bag? Yeah, I can't lift it. Come on. I absolutely think that we not only are providing, you know, medical attention to these people, but emotional support. Thank you, Bob. You're welcome. Got people that lost everything. I mean, you sit there and listen to them, give them a hug. You know, that's sometimes that's all people need. They just need to be hugged, and they just need a shoulder to cry on. If we can't help you medically, we'll help you emotionally too. <laughs> Y'all okay? Yeah. You good, little man? All right, stay warm, all right? Then we're gonna go straight across the street. All right, so we got the Red Cross coming. We got RTA buses coming so that they can stay warm. But right now, it looks like everybody's out. Hopefully, everything just stays like it is. If y'all want to get warm, go hang out on the bus, OK? Y'all got masks? Extra mask. I'm sorry y'all going through all this. That's your little boy? Yeah. Y'all want, you want me to push him down there? Yeah. All right. Will we be able to get back in our apartment tonight? Baby, I don't think so. Not tonight, because they got to secure the perimeter, then they got to go check to see everybody in there, and they don't know how the structure is. I don't know, but I don't think not tonight. You got to think, man. So if you're in a fire and you come out, which is great, man, you've been blessed, you know, you're out, nobody's hurt, but everything that you love and own is in your apartment. I've been to this apartment complex several times. These good people, these good, hardworking people, the little that they have is in their apartment. And it's just a sad occurrence that this is happening because I can empathize with these people. As Ray Cross is on their way right now, and they're going to get with you guys and give y'all information and definitely probably find somewhere, somewhere for y'all to stay. It's hard to not get emotional on a scene like this, especially when I seen a little kid in his grandfather's lap. It really tugs at my heartstrings, and I really feel for everyone that's in, standing out here watching their home go up in flames. I am pleasantly surprised that everybody got out of this. Well, I never would have thought everybody would have got out of this. Absolutely not. This was definitely your best case scenario. Yeah. Be safe, be strong. Let's do this. Get that stretcher in here. You're gonna bleed to death. <laughs> Randomizer. Randomizer. No, they're not dead. I can work with that.